Okay, good morning, my dear friends. Let us continue with class two of mathematics, chapter four, the last part of exercise four point six. So, in the first two parts, we have done the introduction and how do we check the consistency of a system of linear equations. Now, let's see how do we solve also. So now the question goes like this, solve the system of linear equations using matrix method. I believe all of you are staying safe at home. Please stay at home, stay safe. We are trying our level best to provide you the materials that we can so that you will not be sitting idle at home. So please make sure that you study at home also because this is only meant for my beloved, our beloved students only. Now let's look at the question that is, Solve the system of linear equations using matrix method. From the team of Teach Nagalen, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel also. So now solve the system of linear equations using matrix method. So once it is clearly given that you will be using matrix method, so the system of equations can be solved by other methods also plus but see to it that since it is mentioned you will be using matrix method do not use any other method now we can write the given system of equations can be written as a x equal to b where a was the matrix of the coefficients of the variables no so for this we have one minus one two one minus one two for the second equation three four minus five for the third equation two minus one three x the matrix of the variables and b matrix of the constants 7 minus 5 12 now before we proceed let's first check whether this will have a unique solution or not by finding out its determinant so for trees are 12 minus 5 so I believe that you have already learned how we find out the determinant so I will not be sticking much talking much about the details again about how to find out the determinant So this will give us 7 plus 19 minus 22 so that will be 7 26 minus 22 that will be 4 so here which is not equal to 0 so definitely we know that once this happens we know that thus a is non singular Therefore, its inverse exists and the given system is consistent and has a unique solution given by x equal to a inverse of b <clears throat> now let's find out the minors of the given matrix so m11 m12 m13 so m11 of course will be i'll write down the matrix once again so that we can compare i'll just write it here so our matrix a was one minus one two three four minus five two minus one three so our minor of course i'll just calculate it directly seven so cofactor c11 or a11 that's up to you cofactor will be seven m12 will be 19 so c12 will be minus 19 m13 
would be minus 11 so c13 also would be minus 11 m21 m22 m23 c21 c22 c23 so don't go for this video directly and start doing this exercise please go through the previous videos how we have calculated the minors how we have calculated the cofactors because you jump into it directly then you will have problems so see to it that you go to the other videos first M32 minus 11, so that will be cofactor will be 11, 7, so that will begin 7. So, therefore, the adjoint of our matrix we are proceeding to find out the inverse first. So, adjoint of our matrix will be 7 minus 19 minus 11, 7 minus 19 minus 11, 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 3 11 7 it's transpose so the adjoint of our given matrix will be 7 minus 19 minus 11 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 3 11 7 so this is our adjoint so our inverse will be 1 by determinant of a into adjoint of our matrix a so determinant of a was 4 7 1 minus 3 minus 19 minus 1 11 minus 11 minus 1 7 so now we proceed to find out or solve our given system of equations that is a inverse of b so 7 minus 1 sorry 7 1 minus 3 minus 19 minus 1 11 minus 11 minus 1 7 into our matrix b which was our matrix B was 7 minus 5, 12. 7 minus 5, 12. So let's get the product again. So 1 by 4. Our matrix X, of course, will be X, Y, Z. So this is a 3 by 1, 3 by 3, 3 by 1. So we will have a 3 by 1 matrix. So A11, A21, A3, 1 matrix. So let us proceed. So that will be 7, 7 is 49, minus 5, minus 36, minus 133, plus 5, plus 132, minus 77, plus 5, plus 84. So x, y, z will be equal to 1 by 4 of 8, 4, 12. So 1 minus 1 plus yes. So our matrix X, Y, Z will be equal to 8 by 4, 4 by 4, 12 by 4. So X, Y, Z will be equal to 2, 1, 3. So hence, from the property of equal matrices, we will have X equal to 2, Y equal to 1, and Z equal to 3. So this is how we solve a system of linear equations of where variables are given where we have to solve and then find out the variable so this is a very effective method but again as i say these are big questions so you should see to it that you maintain your calmness your concentration because one slip in concentration the entire value of the matrix might just change so see to it that you do it carefully with time and be steady then definitely i believe you will have absolutely no problems so i believe that you have learned a lot from this video please do practice the other questions if you have any other problems from the NCRT textbook of mathematics, please feel free to get in touch with us by emailing us at our website. And please do not forget to subscribe. So